Hello everyone, I'm here again with a new video in my channel, We Do Excel on infographics. What is infographics? Infographics are basically the visual representation of information, data or knowledge intended to present information quickly and clearly. So for example, you have data like this. It's showing you the figures, but that is not very visual and in representative manner. So here it is. I have here shown three variation of infographic using charts. The first two charts are basically the donor charts with some tweaks and the third one is water fill chart. So let me show you how dynamic they are. Here we are assuming that the actual work done is 20% while the remaining is 50%. This cell can be the result of any background formula while this result from 100 minus cell A1. If this is coming to 20%, this is basically the 100 minus 20% which is 80%. Now when I change this to 50% for example, all the charts will respond to it. See how dynamic they are. They can be a very nice representation of your dashboards. So let's start how this is created and be along with me till the last. I will just copy this to another sheet. I will go to view and remove the grid lines. Good. Now I will go to insert and select a chart called donor chart. Okay, now if I see the data selected is sheet A1 to B2. No, I don't want this. I just want this much. I will go to this. I will remove the chart title, the legends. I don't want any. Now I will just go to on the chart on and double click it i will get this format chart area for the borders i don't need any line and no fill okay now i will just click on the donor chart go to the series option series access and donut whole size i will take it to maximum okay now i will go on double click on this blue one this is now selected. I will keep the color this or you can change it from here. I will go to the border and take a solid line. And I will increase it to for example 20 points. So you can see it's a bit large. I will just I will again click this blue one and just make it 18. Yeah, this look good. Okay, now this look good. Now I will click on it. Go to format and insert a text box. I will click here and I will go to the formula bar. Click equal and 27%. I will hit enter. And you can see I got this 27%. Now, if I want to write anything, if you wish to write anything, you can just write also 27% work done. I would like to keep the percentage only. You can write the text also. Backspace. I will put try to put this in middle. Let's see. This look good. And here it is. So now. Your one of the form of donor chart is done. You can see the actual one. See, this is it and this is it. Now if I change it to 50%, it will move. You can change its direction also. Select the donor chart, go to the angle. And for example, I do it 90%. So the angle will change. Now the angle is starting from here. For example, I do it 12%. But I like to keep it clockwise only. I will select this, go to size and put it zero. Yes, this box. So, hundred, one, twenty-five. Looks good. Now let's go to the second one. This one. This gives an illusion of a pie. Select this data, insert, donut chart, put 
it here. Now what I will do, I will select this bonnet. I will do Control C, Control V. You can see two series have been created. I will go remove these all. What I'll do, I will select the inner circle blue one, blue donut. Go to this fill option and I will say no fill. Now I will go to outer orange circle and say no fill. Okay. Now I will go to the donut hole size and uh, this much looks fine to me. Okay. Now I wish to change the color. So the outer blue one, I will select the outer blue one and I will change this color to gray. Okay. And now I will go to the inner orange circle and I will change its color to green again. What I will do, I will increase the transparency so this will get lighter. I will select this. I will go to a shadow and do some kind of shadow selection. Now this looks good. What I have to do, I have to again insert text box. So these are two charts. Now see how this is working. This is working fine. It's really nice to give a different variation to your donor chart and you can have a lot of creativity in this. How you make a third chart? For this, if you want to learn this water fill chart, do contact me on my email ID. I will be willing to help you personally. And thank you for the time. Please subscribe my channel and do push the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.